Following the transition from preview game to full feature game, everybody's favourite battle royale, balls to the wall, camp to your cramp shooter has had an update for the Xbox One X, addressing many issues. Hello, I'm Pretty Tough, and welcome to my Player Unknown Battlegrounds patch notes. In this patch, they go over performance issues, adding new weapon skins, which is new for Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Ever since the game was first released, a preview for Xbox One about over a year ago, it has been plagued, of course, with problems. Problems such as graphical issues, performance issues, bugs, and of course, glitches. Which Bluehole Studios, funny enough a South Korean game developer, who knew, have worked very hard to fix since the game's release on preview. While Xbox has been able to run the game just fine, users of the Xbox One X have had problems with the game which needed addressing. These problems were performance based, so what they have done is they have lowered certain aspects of the game ever so slightly, not so much as to make such a massive difference but just ever so slightly so that the overall game quality will still remain the same. These include things such as shadow quality, both static and dynamic, the depth of field of the player, lens flare effect that has the effect on players, and the eye adaptation quality. This is basically where you go from a bright place such as outside into a dark place, like a building. All it does is takes just a little bit longer for your eyes to adjust to the darkness so you can see clearly. They have also changed some of the lighting aspects to the game to help it run a little bit smoother. So what are the lighting effects and how are these going to affect gameplay? They have disabled screen space reflection, which is basically just the reflection of windows. Disabled light refraction, quite frankly I have no idea what that means. Disabled subsurface scattering, this is where light is put inside an object to make it look a bit more realistic. And the final thing for lighting, they have lowered the particle lighting. This is dynamic light which moves, created from things such as explosions. So all it does is decrease the amount of particles spawned in to help the game run smoother. Moving on to weapon skins now. You can now buy two weapon skins called Glory and Trifecta, Glory being available only for the AKM and the UMP9, and Trifecta being available for the P92 handgun, the Mini Uzi and the scar -L. These can be exchanged in the Battle Point store on the main menu of the game, and are only available to purchase one at a time, and can only be purchased until October the 22nd. Personally that's a bit strange, because if you're going to add weapon skins they should be a permanent feature, but I assume this might be just minor testing to see how they perform. So that's all there really is to this patch. This isn't anything major, but it just addresses the few problems that players have been having. Personally, I've not had any problems whatsoever with my original Xbox, and so I don't really see the point as to why Xbox One X would be struggling to keep up. However, these patches do decrease quality for both of these consoles, lowering the playing field and making it more equal for players. So what's your opinion of these patch notes? Did you think they needed them, or was your console doing just fine? If you want to see more of my content, please do check out the rest of the videos on my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and share to your fellow PUBGians to stay informed and to be entertained. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.